I think that's like every moment of us is a romantic. If we are cooking together, dancing a stupid reel together, you know, and many, many more together, I think that's a the romantic moment. So Annie, what is David's biggest pet peeve? What bothers him the most that you do? Almost everything. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what is that? Like when you leave a cabinet door open. Yeah, but you didn't have a, a OCD. Not OCD. I because I, I was in the army. There's certain things like just put that away. You know, it's right when I'm speak no filter. Yes, yeah, sometimes, but that's okay. I love that part of you. But I, I think that's the biggest thing is just um, Annie is really an amazing woman. It, it used to be time, you know, because she was on tie time for many years. It means you show up when you get there and being former military, if we have dinner reservations at seven, that doesn't mean you start getting ready at seven. <laughs> you know, and I always have a thing saying, I know it takes you a while to get ready, that's fine, but we have to be there at 6.45. So if it needs three hours, start at 3.30. You know, it's... I no, don't think that. Yeah, you do. I mean, that's, that's the only thing I would say is, because she doesn't do anything wrong. She's, you know, she's Annie. I, I worship the ground she walks on. I thank God for my Buddha table every day for her. <laughs> and she's just an amazing woman, an amazing human being, and the most incredible wife on the planet. That's great. Uh, a couple more. Um, David, what would you say is Annie's reality TV guilty pleasure besides 90 Day? Well, she loves Naked and Afraid. Um, I think that's your other reality show that you like. Um, most of the things that she watches are Korean movies with Thai subtitles. <laughs> and Chinese. And Chinese. One day I walk in there and she's like, Anon say oh! <laughs> if you only watch a lot of YouTube, like Thai music, uh, Isam music from her area. And all. This music is still my number one. Uh, you know what I'm going to because I love to sing. We have a karaoke at home, so that's a, yeah, besides 90 Day Beyonce. Annie was a Thai country singer at 12. I love watching all the your videos that you post when you're singing. I love it. I think it's great. We just have a few drinks and get to the most creative time. <laughs> it's the best, right? And having um, drinks and trying to dance a reel. <laughs> Andy, what would you say is the most romantic thing David has ever done? Uh, <laughs> the romantic thing, well, uh, I think it's like the first year, first time, first week we uh, were together, like me. So probably David is, I mean, he's romantic and my romantic is my big difference. Honestly, until today, well, I'm not even know what the hell is my romantic is about because sometimes my mind is, go, is off. So David was putting all the flower, you know, with the heart and uh, chocolate on the bed, you know, and I, I thought the, the, the romantic thing ever is, I always really remember that. But, you know, as long as we are together, uh, it, I'm not just focused about that, you know, about romantic, about how much he can do for me anymore. It's just like how much can we enjoy the moment. So I just, I think that's like every moment of us is a romantic. Either we are cooking together, dancing a stupid reel together, you know, and many, many more together. I think that's a the romantic moment. Definitely. And then David, what would you say is, what's your favorite thing to do on date night? Kind of bouncing off of that. We always have date, date, date night every night. But in general, things that are do that are out of the ordinary is I'll tell her to pack something, either add a bathing suit or not. And like a couple of years ago, we went to Zanzibar. We went to Nepal last year, um, usually around the holiday time of Thanksgiving and or near about because of her birthday. Um, because we have the dress business from Bangkok by Annie, cool. the clothing business, um, this year we're we're not going to do anything till after the holiday just because it's be the busy season mm -hmm. so it's and we have a lot more going on now obviously the things that are happening mm -hmm. so i can't just pick up and take off like we did in the past um with the responsibilities that we have 